Now, the COVID-19 pandemic has reached yet another grim milestone in the United States. But according to the John Hopkins University, the nation's cumulative death toll from the COVID-19 infections has now surpassed the 900,000 mark. The latest number has been largely fueled by the Omicron variant of the coronavirus. And it comes less than two months after the country had surpassed the 800,000 toll in terms of fatalities linked to COVID-19. The American President Joe Biden in a statement has said in I quote him here, Today our nation marks another tragic milestone. 900,000 American lives have been lost due to COVID-19. We pray for the loved ones that they have left behind. And together, we keep every family enduring this pain in our hearts. Now, this latest rise marks a sharp increase of more than 100,000 fatalities since the 12th of December. In the month of February, the United States has recorded more than 3,000 deaths, pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. However, the death rate appears to be slowing as the Omicron infection continues to wane. The seven-day average has fallen for two days in a row to about 2,592. In comparison to the peak that was witnessed in the Delta wave in January 2021, where 3,000 deaths had been recorded pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis for several days. Meanwhile, the number of COVID-19 infections has also dropped significantly across the country. The numbers on your screens show the decline in the number of COVID-19 infections from the 31st of January until the 3rd of February. The number of cases reported have come down to almost a half, and fresh cases have decreased by almost about 50% in the last two weeks. And public experts are of the opinion that the Omicron outbreak recedes, the hospitalization rate will also decline, propelling the pandemic to enter into a new phase in the United States. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.